So the color of 12 is like this like red purplish hue, which is pretty nice. It's just not necessarily what I would think of. Hey there everyone, this is Alcow playing Kaggle X3. Today we are playing the eighth place, top eight. Birds everywhere trying to steal your plate. Yeah, we did that and this and now we can ride the wave. Imagine had I not played a certain game. You can hold spin jump to Nuki to return to the point you last emerged from. Well, I guess because I haven't emerged from anything yet doesn't work, but okay. Here we go, Shin Bison! And if I recognize... Soaked Spike situation. What a name! This spread I'm used to, but with scores way up there. Might be a shorter video. I guess we're gonna find out. We're gonna soak those spikes. Like the rain in that this tower. Like, yeah, there's a spine there. That guy's wearing a vest. Can you see this great event of nature? Spikes spawn over there. What? Uh, at night, there are small creatures near this pond. All right, all right. Uh, your mission is to find out what's bonding them. Okay. Okie dokie. That's a thing, Mario. Whoa, walking toad in the cutscene. Incredible. And there's like this mountain range. There's this really nice tree. There's spike bond in there here. Oh yeah, see that fish is agitated. Is that whom we're talking about? Oh, we got like some some spots in the sky. All right, coming from the water. There's like a buried spiny there. You can see it spikes. Uh, Alright, here, here. Whoa, jeez! Nighttime came suddenly. Yeah, Trouter. So, ooh, okay. So we got a lot of spine. Uh, boy, how does this work? How do you get through here? Oh, no. Okay, I guess you're just supposed to send them out. All right. Well, I didn't figure that one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, spikes everywhere, like they are just all buried, and it's kind of weirdly uncomfortable. So now I know what happens here, you're supposed to just kind of wait, that happens, they die, then the platform comes back, it's weirdly passive. Alright, okay, here, friction ball is on a roll! Oh, well, yeah, I didn't get hurt by anything, little statue, so you know, not all spying is there around here. Or natural. Some of them were- Whoa! Uh, mushroom, I want you, even if you fly away from me. Don't know what's going on here, please call mercy. Alright, I don't know what your deal is. Why do you want to sell me five liters of candle? But we're just going to have to make it work. Big ol' circle rail ball, and this one's having fun. It's a chainsaw with saw blade. I can't tell the difference. You use it to cut wood and plumbers alike. Oh, watch out there. I jumped right into you. There was not even an attempt at not getting hurt. Oh, these guys are just kind of in the pond, though. It's beautiful. Nothing. Okay, no. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm just gonna live here next to the bridge. All right, I'm gonna bounce on you. Be safe and be wary. You can go on this pipe and look at the dreary. You're in a nice hat in there. These monsters don't like water. You can can you feel these monsters don't like water? Then a wild emoji. Oh, that was weird. All right, well. He's reusing, you know, the natural resources of this area for fashion. Truly a leader of industry. You cannot spin jump on the water. Ridiculous. Alright, what? Oh, so who would still hurt you? Uh, and then I just kind of phased through that one. But yeah, they still hurt you. So, you know, don't just bop into their sides, because it will be felt. But, you know, but their eyeballs, those don't hurt. That's just logic, you know? If I smash myself into a bear's eyeball, I will not instantly die. It, the instant death will come later when it gets mad that I'm currently just pressing against its face and it can do something about it. Yeah, so I keep, like, getting hurt almost immediately after getting health. This has been the pattern up to now, and because of that, I'm not gonna get that Dagadon, because I'm not big anymore. I'm just a tiny little Mario trying to survive. There's fishes and spinies everywhere. How can you survive in these circumstances? <gasps> Don't scare me like that! I'm scared, I'm spooked by the little 
turtle thing. I don't know how to describe a spiny, actually. I, I guess they're kind of, I mean, they're, they're kind of turtle-like. They just got massive spikes on their shelves. A feature! I'm gonna sit here, yeah, and go underneath you with this water here. Very naturalistic. You can get large and get Mario conflicted. Why? There's no conflict here. It's Mario only. Now let's start the Yoda Scroll on the plans. Don't worry about it. You know, you just got Yoda Scroll. I love just the spiny sticking out of the wall. This is weird. Like, are they dead? Like, is are is it just the shells of spinies and like sticking out like it was a bone? Or are they just sleeping? Like, is there just... Do, do spinies go underground to go to sleep? I mean, we have seen spinies pop out of holes, actually, earlier in the level. That is true. That is science fact. Uh, yeah, just run any of those guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, no, guys, now these guys are there. How would they navigate these lands if it weren't for these springboards put everywhere? Well, maybe the springboards were put everywhere here to, you know, help them move around, you know? Like a duck ramp. A ramp for ducks. Toad, I haven't found out why all the animals here are agitated at all. Oh, they don't like the water. Okay, now it all makes sense. You said that with authority, so I believe you. Well, that's just like the one guy that told us us, though. What? Whoa, everything's been wacky here. Hey, it's daytime! War! Oh, I see, you put a bridge and then they're, they're not see- Well, it looks like they can speak perfect English. So, you could have just asked them all this time, it turns out. What a weird level. The story of this level... It exists. That cannot be denied. That was really nice, though. Like, this was a very solid level. I don't know if the fiction was really important. I feel like you could just have the level of, like, you know, spinies operating around there. Pressing Tanuki and Spin Jump. It's... I ain't got no got my not gone. Well said. Alright, doesn't matter. Trouble, so all the text was there so we could have the troubled and I was just like, okay All right, that was enough for 19 and the third. So, okay, then Water uh, oh Yeah, you know, it's good x3 level when there's freedom planet. I haven't played that game. Yeah Yeah, I feel like yeah, there's the operative statement here Mm-hmm. No, oh, yeah, it was lovely. It was you know, a lovely, a very good translation of my thoughts into words of the English language. Uh, how can it be built a little too well, Sturg? Explain that statement. <laughs> oh, I see. Come flaug. Is there a difficult, bouncy, spiny obstacle? I don't know, nothing really stood out to me as like being especially hard. I thought it was a nice, very collected hole, like with a W. A fun time, indeed. In great water. I mean, work with us. Here's that Sturg wit in play! This is not the first level that like varied a whole bunch of spiny like enemies into other spinies. It's something that a lot of people do. It's just it's just a thing that comes very naturally. Huh. That's fair. Honestly, yeah, that is fair. By the way, the music that's been played, which has been composed specifically for this game, like the guitar you hear apparently is an actual guitar. It's from Shungus, like, we played their level, like, not that long ago. Uh, yeah, atmospheric level with good platforming. No jokes there, that's just a very succinct... ...description. Alright, one person loved the vertical section, this one not as much. Looks like we're gonna have to settle this in the Thunderball. Yeah, it's surreal, but like in a very 
coherent way. Like, it is a world being created. This is just like the elemental plane of spinies. They're just everywhere. But it, it works. It fits. It's cohesive. Like, it's not abstract spiny world. It's like real spiny world. Ground shells make things look cluttered. Uh, I mean, maybe they don't have the means of moving away, though. Like, what if this is like... What if it's waters for five miles in every direction? And because spiners are small animals, their understanding of the world is not as such that they can't even imagine there is a world without water. Have you considered that? Oh, right. We're a level above. I thought... I, I thought I was jumping in a pit. Hi, Waddle. <laughs> 